I'm just at the studio of Martin Truffitt Baker. Thank you for hosting us today. You're very and welcome. Martin is a printmaker and a painter, uh, primarily a printmaker, would you say? Or Probably half in half, but yeah. I'm getting more known for the prints and the yeah. paintings. So you've recently had um, Art Angels take up some of your prints. As... Yes, yeah, I've got four uh, prints and now uh, greetings cards. Yeah. So I'm sure everyone will be dying to see inside your beautiful studio. It's here in Langattuck, just opposite Crick Howe. Yeah, so perhaps we could start with um, your having a look at your prints, Martin. Okay, um, not everything is on the walls around here. Um, this one is called Bob Kula, um, the little fox, because that's the, the constellation in the sky and the fox is in the uh, shape of the yeah. constellation. So, and, and the, that's stars why the stars are there, and the comet, yeah. and there's things down there. And the bracken, uh, and the bracken actually appears in a few of your prints. And so, the... Um, Autumn Bracken Badges, mm. which has been published as a card by yeah. Art Angels. And, uh, well, so these really work as a well. series, would you say? Have, 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 have really. they evolved? <laughs> Not really, it's just a motif that I've yeah. used in, in a couple of things. They're, yeah. they're, it's more to do with place than anything else. Yeah. A lot of my work like this is based up on the mountain behind where we live here. Yeah. Um, there's, t there's two main places I work. One is up on the mountain behind where we live, which mm -hmm. is where all these paintings are from. And the other one is, is basically really close in this just this little mm. bit of valley down to the bridge in Crick Yeah. So, Which must have been a godsend during lockdown that you had yes. so much on your doorstep. Yeah. Yeah. So that was produced, finished off towards the end of lockdown, mm. which is from the end of the garden. Yeah, it's stunning. And do you think you do theme your work to, for sort of continuity? I mean, it's British wildlife landscape yeah I, I when I tra when I trained um, I did my dissertation on Ed Edward Borden oh, yeah. and of course that links in with Revilius yeah. and Nash and there is that um, that sort of lineage between all the way back from like Kerry Richards back through you know Borden Revilius mm. back through Samuel Palmer William yeah. Blake Constable the very early the sort of the, the magic yeah. and the spirit in the British yeah. landscape is what yeah. it's all about and that's very strong in your work. And Thank you. Strong, I think it, that's what I tried for anyway. Yeah. I try to get a little bit more than just representational. I tend to work, I, I sometimes start plain air. So for instance, this, this painting here was started plain air. Yeah. But then I bring things back to the studio, take photographs and finish off things back to the studio. Yeah. So do you work quite closely with a sketchbook? You know, is a sketchbook quite a precious I don't know. part of what No, and I know, and I used to, I've talked for a long, long time, yeah. 
and I've drummed into pupils yeah. about using a sketchbook. Yeah. And then, no, I don't no, very often. No, that's funny. No, I'm too, I'm too impatient. Yeah. I really, I very often start a drawing and that turns into the painting. Yeah. So if I start on a piece of uh, board very often, this started on a piece of brown paper as a sketch. Yeah. In a place. And then that has actually been stuck onto the wood. The sketch. It has become oh, that's the sketch. The sketch has become the so painting. It almost starts as a collage, would you yeah. say? Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, quite a few it's things have been collages. Um, that did mountain. start from sketches though, there are yeah. a line of sketches to, to lead into that. Was that because you wanted to work on the composition through the sketches before you started the painting? Yes, yes. Because yeah. the, the, it's quite a complex composition. something about composition. the rhythm of this yeah, and the that's branches it. and things. And also the, the progression of colour, you know, the brightness of colour. Yeah. And can you say a little bit about, do you think there is some learning through the painting and how that transfers into printmaking. Would you say your painting's got a slightly graphic style because you're a printmaker as well? Yes, I, I do exactly, yes, yeah. it's, it's, it's well observed. I, I think the paintings are informed by the printmaking yeah. and the printmaking is informed by yeah, the painting. Yeah, that's so interesting. Um, I don't think there's a point where they meet. <laughs> They don't no, cross over as no, such, they're, they're but they do inform each other. Yeah. I, I tend to do paintings of landscape. It's quite rare for me to have animals so yeah. prominent within a painting. Yeah. So Martin, you say this board has a history of how you're developing your new work. Yes, yeah, so, so I've, I've been working in the past few weeks, maybe months, yeah. on a, a print of some hares up in uh, one of the fields oh, up yeah. onto uh, Flangasset Mountain. If you go up the road, yeah. the only place I've ever seen hares around here is off to the left in one of the fields down by an old yeah. barn. And um, so I've taken the hedge and some of the elements from that mm. and I, I've come up with this, which is a design for... Um, the hairs. Yeah. It's going to be turned into a lino cut and yeah. I've actually started this cutting it here. The first layer. Perhaps? Yeah, so that is going to be the first layer. Yeah. I haven't managed to get any further. So this process is called reduction printmaking, and you're actually making cuts for a very pale layer first, yes, presumably so with the whites in the dandelion clock. Yes, so um, the bits that are cut out first of all here will stay white. Everything yeah. else will be printed yeah. in a very light colour. Yeah. And then I'll print that onto pieces of paper. I'll cut more away print back over the top onto the same pieces of paper. Yeah. It's all done with the same piece, piece of, of liner. Paper, yeah, registered. And so you clearly do quite a lot of research. You're quite, I remember you telling me once that you're really quite into skeletons and sort of by sort of drawing from biology textbooks. Oh yes, yeah. So yeah. You, Cause you're really keen to get yes, the, I I was, the form. I was, when I was much younger, I was in between becoming a scientist, a, natural scientist yeah. and, and an artist and the artist one out in the end but I do I do tend to look at the anatomy of things yeah. quite closely. So you've got some botanical drawings of the dandelions. So this is quite like a sketchbook really yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And would you keep this board here throughout your process? Yes well I'm, I'm working on it now I've just I've taken this design here yeah um, you can see it's reversed here this is the one that I the whole process with this reverse in a print yeah and i've taken this image and i've i was just today this afternoon i will be painting over the top of this to work out the colors that i'll be using mm. in the print 
So I was, I was thinking of trying to get it like a golden warning. The print will not end up that blue colour. No, so the I blue, design in the blue really helps with your value contrasts, yeah. presumably, and establishing the values, whatever palette you choose. So yeah, you, yeah. So it's to do with tone. When tone, I design, yeah. I, don't, I don't necessarily think about the colours. I, I tend to leave the colours until after I've designed. Yeah. So I'm, all I'm looking at here is the form. Contrast, yeah. You know, so there, there's, there's, um, there's some depth in the way that I've used tone. Yeah. There are only blacks in the foreground. Yeah. And most of the whites are also in the foreground. So as it, as it, as it progresses in depth within the picture, yeah. the contrast becomes less. designs over there isn't it and it gives you presumably the potential to make the same print in different colorways yes have, have you got any examples of work where you've i think the otter you've done the otter is in, in blue and blue and, and yes this so few, soft think. yellows and greys So, for instance, things like this, wow. which is yeah. back up on the mountain behind us, where there's just the beginnings of, of animals within oh, the landscape. Yeah. yeah, but very subtle. Yeah. What I might call the quiet conversation <laughs> yeah. in yeah. the in the in the piece. I started. I started this at the beginning of lockdown. Right. And it just got darker and yeah, darker. Yeah, do you and know? I when I looked at it, I wondered if that colour palette is influenced by what that, we've all been through. It's it's a it's a tsunami of blackness. Yeah. <laughs> and and Although, once I realised that, I haven't been able to work on it since. So that's, that's been that's, like that for six months. That's very interesting. Yeah, I just realised that it wasn't a healthy thing to be doing. So yeah. So I changed. And do you think you'll return to it and? Um, well, I, I have at various bring times. light colours. I mean, there little, is this sort of a fox glimpse in down of here. hope. Oh, yeah. And that, that, that actually led into the fox on the mountain, the, the Volpecula ah, print, which is the fox yeah. just further down the valley. Yeah, because I say so the prints certainly don't sort of share a feeling of gloom or. No. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> well, the paintings do, then, don't they? Well. I will admit. I, I find the green highlight is the sort of hope, the glimpse of light. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The, you know, I think in all that we do, there is always this balance, isn't there? But possibly yeah. balance is what has made this painting yeah. Yeah. reach its point. But you clearly have a strong draw to violet and... Yes, yeah, I can't help that. that violet and green seems yeah. to be the colours at the moment. Thank you. 